Well, good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining me today at Juanette's Crafting Corner. I appreciate you guys visiting me, and I would like to say a thank you to a couple of people who left lovely comments. One is Beverly, and the other one is Christina. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and leaving some comments. So in today's video, I need to make a few little snippets for my nursing journal. Now I've made a few, and here they are, and I'm using some of the older pictures that I had left over, the little bitty pictures of the nurses. So there's Florence Nightingale. And so I'm going to make some of those. The other thing I have is a few here that are just for any kind of journal, although this is a nursing, uh, would be for a nursing journal. We had to memorize the Krebs cycle. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare that was. So I'm going to put that over there by the nursing uh, part. But some of these are just little floral snippets. Uh, actually, they do have, uh, I should put them with the nursing because this says what nursing ought to do. So some of them do have um, still little quotes and stuff from nurses and nursing. So... That's what we're going to make today. So the supplies you're going to need is just some small little images. And I'm going to turn this one light down because otherwise it gets too, too bright and a lot of glare. I have some of the small pictures of the nurses. Some a little bit bigger ones also. I've got some floral embellishments little square cards and these were a freebie from somebody i can't remember who so i apologize i've got a couple of small little postcards again some more floral images here some numbers and more numbers over here then i have a little box of fabrics these are some of the ones that I picked out, some blues, uh, pinks, greens, what have you. So we're gonna use those. I've got some old prescriptions that I'm gonna lay down. I have a piece of an old doily. And then I have some of the Tim Holtz little snippets of flowers. I like these because they're nice and small. So I've got some of those, and then I have kind of like a medium size also. You need options, guys. Lots and lots of options. So here's some little bit bigger ones. And then I have this nursing book that is actually, I don't know if you can see the name, it's called Notes on Nursing by Florence Nightingale. It actually is a reprint, but the thing I like most about it is off to the side here is just a little bit of text about nursing and about patients. So I like those. Now what I'm gonna do is take my tear ruler and tear those quotes out. Because I like having, I, oh shoot, I grabbed two pages. Well, hopefully I got some of that other without messing it up. No, I did, didn't I? Dang it, I hate when I do that. Variety means recovery, color and form means recovery. I'm gonna just come over to this side a little bit. So I've got some of that, plus then just the text from the nursing book. And actually, that's what I think I'm gonna do. There's some here, notes on nursing. Let's just pull that out. So 
So what I'm going to do is turn the camera off for just a minute while I tear some of this and ink some of this up, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so what I've done is just put a piece of kitchen wax paper down on my work surface, and I've just take, taken some old-fashioned masking tape and laid that down over it. It's just the Scotch brand of masking tape. And then, as I was kind of going through my scraps, I found a few more things, an old doily, some music paper. You guys remember me doing a video when I made this paper, so I've got a little bit of pink and a little bit of green. Then the other thing is, as I was playing with my jelly plates, I'm trying to learn how to use those. And then these are also just kind of background papers that I use when I'm spraying things. And so I tore some of that paper up, some yellows. There's a little stamp there. Again, just some yellows and purples and greens. There's a key and then the word Paris. So I have those off to the side. And then I've got these little punches with butterflies. And I punched out a few of those with cardstock and what have you. So let's go ahead and start. So what I do is I first lay down my fabric let me pull this over here so I'm not reaching across. Let's start with just a black piece. Sometimes it'll tear and sometimes it won't. That will not. <laughs> so I take my fabric and you can take your Fabri-Tac glue. Oops. That whole thing came off. Let me just see if I can pull just the, yeah, there we go. Just the needle out. So I take my Fabri-Tac glue and I pull it, put it on the back of my masking tape. Now remember, this side is not sticky. The sticky side is down next to the wax paper. I thought this was pretty, this little image here. And since that's a fairly small piece of masking tape, I'm gonna put that there. I've got some green here. Let's put that on there. And so what I'm going to do is fast motion through the fabric here, fast forward, and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay, there I've got my first layer down, all my fabrics. So then the next thing is start layering images. And let's just start with this nurse right here. 
So we'll see if she goes there. And then this little quote, notes on nursing. This might be nice over here. Another little image here. You just start playing around and maybe that's a little bit too big. And just seeing what fits, what, what would look good. A little bit of color underneath there. see maybe a, a flower kind of like that and then maybe a number up in here so let's put the Paris down and I'm going to be using my Fabri-Tac And then my nurse. And I do want a little bit of that black fabric to show through. Well, let's see if I have a tiny, tiny little image. Here's a number seven. And let's pull a little of this pink across because there's a little bit of pink in this flower. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to lay that down there, across there. So that's it, guys. That's about it. And then when they dry... You could even add more things if you want or um, or stop there. Maybe I'll add, I see a little place for a, a note here. Six suffer to excess from mental as well as bodily health. Yeah, let's put that on there. Little quote over here. So I will go ahead and off camera do some of these and then I'll show you at the end what they all look like. Okay, I'm just finishing up the last little bits of these little snippet rolls. And so what I've done is just kind of picked out what I want in the background and then my little focal point. And then I just kind of glue, put a little bit of the Fabri-Tac where that will go. And then layer this over the top. And it will take a couple of minutes for it to dry. And then I'll be able to pull them off and put them in a box. So I wanted to show you guys a picture of me when I worked in the emergency room. Oops, this has got some little doodads that need to come out. I worked in the emergency room for 18 years and it truly was my favorite department to work in. I think I've told you guys that. I mean, I do like working labor and delivery and helping to bring those babies into the world. However, emergency room nurses definitely, I think, are the cream of the crop for nurses because you have to know everything meaning you have to know orthopedics. You have to know 
trauma. You have to know pediatrics. You have to know OBGYN. You have to know cardiac. You just, you just have it all and are exposed to all of it. So that's why I liked emergency room nursing. But let me show you this picture. So let me tone down the lights again. Dang it. Sorry, guys. So this is a picture of me 30 years ago when I worked in the emergency room. Now, I don't know who took this picture, but look at my stethoscope's falling apart there. Uh, probably my friend Judy took it, but it appears that I'm given report probably on a patient that is going to be admitted. But check out that hair and check out that glasses, those glasses. Now, probably I had, I'm a little chubby there and it's probably because I had just had a baby. So that's why I think I'm chub chubby, but oh my gosh, that just brings back so many memories. Okay, let's finish up this last little one and then we'll go through them. So again, just your focal point, which on this one is going to be my floral image. And then I've just got a little number under there. And I think what I'm going to do is just slide it underneath the floral because I don't want the whole thing showing. And then this little quote, the sick would rather be told a thing than have it read to them. A lot of these little quotes are from, like I said, Florence Nightingale's book. So let's just go through them and let me just show you real quick so that you can kind of see where or what I did with each one. This one has the nurse Paris, six suffer to excess from mental as well as bodily pain. Then a little floral there. Here I've got, I believe that was from World War um, II. And actually what I'm gonna do is bring you guys in. Um, let's see here, yeah, I think that one. Then this one is nurse and then a little type of uh, flowers, a butterfly, and then material and some colored paper underneath that. This one is notes on nursing. This is funny. If a patient is cold, if a patient is feverish, feverish, if a patient is sick after taking food, if he has a bed sore, it is, I think, not the fault of the disease, but of the nursing. Oops. That's a sting. Um, here's a picture of an African-American nurse. I've got a little pink there, pink butterfly. Um, old postcard there. This one here, notes on nursing. I've got the purple fabric underneath, some of my jelly plating and some stamping, little purplish floral thing, and then uh, butterfly there. This is Florence Nightingale. What a patient must not have to see is read aloud. Just a little flower there, a little bit of yellow underneath there. This one I kept pretty simple because I like this green here. Notes on nursing, what it is and what it is not. And then just a little envelope there. Floral here. And then a little stamp and a little floral stick, stick, sticker there. Uh, this is my pink one. Read aloud slowly, distinctively, and steadily to the sick. Just a little floral image, uh, postage stamp there, and a butterfly. Then this one here, some music paper. This is the salvage of some fabric that has numbers on it just a floral bouquet and a nurse hanging an IV. 
this is another picture of Florence Nightingale fabric, Never Read Aloud, by Fitz and Starts to the Sick. And then my last row here, just this floral image here, I saw, I showed you guys that. Then this is from a pack of old prescriptions that I got. I just put a little bit of gold uh, ribbing there, some floral there. And then this is an old postage stamp here with just a little bit of music page and some fabric and then a floral arrangement there. So let me bring it back up to the top and see if I can bring you guys back down. There you go. And let me just show you, because this one is probably dried now. So all you have to do is just peel it off of the... wax paper, and there you have your little snippet that you can put into journals. Now, to actually put these into a little box uh, so they don't stick to each other, I will take my embossing buddy, uh, you know, the powdered, or you can just use a little cornstarch and put it on the back of there so it doesn't stick. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate it. These are a lot of fun to make. Not all of them are nursing. Some of them are, well, maybe they are all nursing. Ha, that one's not nursing with the, the French one. But anyway, they go good in your little um, ephemera folders and, and folders so that you can have them when you need them for uh, journals. So anyway, thanks for joining me, everyone. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next Monday. Bye.